Hello guys, this is Ryo6951 and welcome to my convergence video. Oh yeah, well, uh, before I start, I want, I want to apologize for the lateness of this, for this video. Well, to be honest with you, in case uh, some of you haven't noticed, the wall behind me has a different color. So that means I've been painting my house, which by the way, I haven't finished yet. <laughs> because I do it time to time. So between painting my house and working, so uh, I didn't have pretty much, didn't have too much time to read the comics. But yes, I have time to read the comics, just not enough time to do the video. So here I have issue number eight of Convergence. Check out this cover. Awesome, huh? Well, okay. Convergence issue number one. Finally, we get to the finale of this major event. Well, basically, the whole story goes around that Delos, where the guy, uh, the bad guy, the guy was supposed to be the bad guy, which he was Telos. Well, Telos happens to turn out to be the good guy, the victim from Davos, which I thought he was the good guy. You know, those kind of like twist and turn on stories. So apparently, so the thing is that for Telos save everybody, they have to send a couple of heroes back to the first crisis. The first crisis event, I think it was 1985, I believe so, which I, by the way, I did not read it yet, maybe someday. To avoid Supergirl getting killed and Flash. So some of the superheroes, they went there. And that crisis, although it did happen, I believe that the crisis, it did happen. But Flash and Supergirl did not die. That's what I believe. Maybe I'm wrong. So other than that, so they must get defeated. They must become the good guy. Now, I, will, uh, I was hoping to see the fight back in the first crisis, at least a couple of panels or two pages, something, but they did not do it. So all that happens off panel. Uh, so the planet Telos, after all this event was over, the, the back, back in time the first crisis was kind of like safe. So all the, all the all the different Earths, all the cities that belong to their respect, respective Earth, they all went back to their respective universe, and obviously. So the thing is that there was one world, or Earth, that did not have nothing because it got destroyed, which happens to be Earth 2. So the superheroes from Earth 2 got, they landed in Telos since the beginning. And that was a mistake. That was an error, computer error or something. The thing is that they managed to defeat Brainiac. Brainiac somehow he managed to come up and auto he kind of like auto analyzed himself and came up saying like, well, I was wrong all this time. He's still a bad guy. Now Ted and now Brainiac has a conscience is hard to read. Very hard. 90, 90 plus. So, so now we have Brainiac that he becomes now the good guy. Not the good guy, bad guy with a conscience. I am like, okay, that was that's something new. I didn't know that Brainiac has a conscience. And well, he does have. It's just, I didn't know that he actually can use it. <laughs> So, everything was defeated, the good guy wins, the bad guys lost, just one guy, uh, just one bad guy lost, which happens to be Damon's because Brainiac, which he was the good guy, well, well he turned out to be like a good guy now. And that was, well, same thing. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, so, they all went to, back to 1985, they avoid the death of Supergirl and the Flash, they all came back to present and all the cities 
went back to their respective Earth, as we can see here. Check that out. Also now. So once that's over, something was missing. Or well, at, at least one thing was left to do. Just one more thing. So, what are they going to do with the Earth 2 superheroes? Well, Thanos came up with this idea. Look, uh, since I already since I already been free from the planet, now it's gonna be kind of like a cosmic, cosmic energy spirit or something. So they was tell the superheroes from Earth too. Okay, look, now that I don't need this planet anymore because I'm not gonna be living in it, so I'm gonna give you this planet for you. This is gonna be your new planet. I mean, they make it sound so easy. <laughs> so, you know, our, our superheroes, our superheroes, they are kind of like, okay, but how are we gonna fix the planet or populate the planet when, when nobody knows where everybody else, the population that they managed to save from uh, Earth 2, Earth 2, forgot the name of it. Or to something. Ah. Uh, this is convergence. What's the name of it? You know the one of uh, the big event before this one. Or to something. It's money, I'm sorry. So, anyway, so what happened is that, well, the superheroes said, okay, fine. But how are we going to get everybody else because of that story? Earth 2, Earth N. Ha! <laughs> and you're going to remember sooner or later. So, Earth 2 got destroyed by Dark Side. The story on Earth 2, Worlds N, how, although we know that the the destiny of the planet of Earth 2 was going to be destroyed no matter what. Okay, fine. But we get to see how they managed to, to uh, not, not survive, to save, I think, what, 2 million people? So 20, uh, I think it was 2 million people. But not only that, they have the codex. Now, the codex is where they have all the DNA for every plant, animal, fruit, Everything that we have, they have the DNA. I believe that they even have DNA for flies also. So everything that, that they have, they have the DNA to find some other planet and rebuild the thing. And have everything that us human beings we need to survive. Okay, fine. So what Telos do is that he takes, now Telos has the power. Uh, now, this is what I like about this kind of event. One person has no, no power, suddenly he has the power of a god. And the person who has the power of a god, suddenly he lost it. Just like that. I know, it's come. Everything's possible. That's what I like to, uh, to uh, read comic books because <laughs> the impossible becomes possible. <laughs> so, So what Telo does is he take planet Telos and send it through time, time and space to Earth 2, to the universe of Earth 2. Now remember Earth 2 was destroyed. So what, uh, what Telo did, he took the planet Telos and put it on the same place, on the same universe where the first Earth 2 was original. So basically this is kind of like closing the circle because this whole event was around Earth 2. It touched a little bit about the New 52, but I believe that they did not want to, they didn't want to touch the New 52. Kind of like, okay, let's not complicate things. They just leave the New 52. Yeah, they just, let's have <coughs> the New 52 to be part of the story, but from the distance, not, not, get, not to get them involved. That's why it was not a New 52 event. 
So, so that's the whole thing about convergence. Yes, I mean, everything went back where, where it's supposed to go. <clears throat> now, remember when at the, beginning of, at the beginning of the New 52, when they say that everything before everything everything before the New 52 was erased? Well, this is telling us that everything before the New 52 well, is back to exist, uh, existence. So it's still there. Whatever that means. Because if they because they can erase something before they did fifty two, and for me they did not erase it because I got the comic books. So I just kind of I mean this is the kind of things kind of like uh, I kind of hit the nail with this kind of okay. It's kind of like doesn't make sense, but hey, it's comic books. So so now we have the superhero. Then we have the Green Lantern, that he has the power of all the Avatar. Death, Light, uh, Green, everybody. So now, it's kind of like, okay, the Earth 2 Green Lantern, I can, it's kind of like, you look at it as Carl Reiner. Carl Reiner, he's the White Lantern, which means he has all the colors on the spectrum inside of him. Well, same thing with the Earth 2 Green Lantern. He has all the Avatar, Inside of him. Pretty simple. So now, but not only that, that the avatar of the, the blood kind of, kind of like she survived. So that means that between Green Lantern and the avatar of the blood, they can, they can uh, build and reforest planet Devils. So now we have planet two, uh, planet Earth two. Two on the universe. So everything that Dark Side did destroyed Earth 2. Well, yeah, it destroyed it, but Telos bought it back. So I don't know if Dark Side, well, once that he find out, he's gonna like the idea. He's like, wait a minute, did I did not destroy Earth 2, Earth 2 a couple of months ago, and now it's here again. I guess I have to go back and check and see what happened. <laughs> Somebody make a mistake. So, once the, the dark side is going to find out, I think we're going to have another Earth true crisis because dark side is going to be like, okay, wait a minute, something's wrong. Something did not match. So, overall, Corvigian's story is all about Earth true universe. That's it. All of it is about Earth true. I would like to see a little bit more with the new 52 introducing to the story, yes. Uh, I also would like to see the fight that happened in off panel back in the first crisis back in 1985 when they avoid the death of Supergirl and the Flash. They did not put it there. I would love to see that. But everything was about her too. So if you read and you do not understand it, it's understandable. Because it's about Earth 2. Basically, it's all about Earth 2. Uh, yeah, they say this, this is the, the new thing for the new 52, this and that. Well, yes, it does to a certain point, but not 100%. So I'm not too convinced about it. Yeah, now, now with the new, uh, new 52 direction that each, that each book is going to be dependent from one to the other. I love it. I like the idea. I like the idea. Let's see how it goes. So overall, Convergence one through eight, I will give it four out of five because I really like it. But if you haven't read Earth Two or Earth Two Wars End, on the first issue, Convergence number one and two is actually explaining you what happens on Earth Two books and Earth Two Wars End. From that, uh, they, they take from uh, 25 issues and cramp it, it explains you in two or three pages. So, you might be a little bit lost, but you're thinking about it, you're kind of like, well, what is what this is about? Well, it's about Earth 2. That's it. That you need to read Earth 2 series and Earth 2 Wars, and well, that's up to you. 
that's up to you. That will advise it to uh, read it. Well, personally, I really like Urge. I love that series. It was really fun. I really like it. I know different superheroes, different everything. Maybe that's why I like it so much because it was everything, it was different from everything else. Kind of like what happens on Earth 2 stays on Earth 2. Kind of something like Vegas. Las Vegas, whatever, whatever happens in Las Vegas, well, stays in Las Vegas. Same thing with Earth 2. Whatever happens on Earth 2, stays on Earth 2. That's why the New 52 superheroes, they were not part of the story. They were part from the distance, but they did not mix up. I mean, they did, they did not join the fight. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, so, Nishinomae is the beginning of the birth of Earth, of a new planet, Earth 2. And now it's going to be a new series coming up uh, this month. It's going to be Earth 2 Society, which is, which is a continuation from Convergence. So, it's kind of like it is already the planet already being populated, and we have plants, and flies, and bees, and all that, flowers. Bird, fish, uh, and that's about it. Like I said, I would give it four out of five. It was I really like it. I don't give it that five because it was good, but not to the point to give it a five. If I wanted to be a little bit more nice, I would give it four point five, but not a five complete. Because because there were some. There were a few things, few issues, a few situations of the story that did not make sense. But other than that, I really like it. I will recommend it. Wait for the trade. Just this one. Now, the, the tie-ins, well, that's something else. That's just something different. It has nothing to do, I mean, it's part of the convergence, but it's more kind of like uh, going through memory lane. That's about it. Seeing all superheroes from different different timeline or when or when we were kids or teenagers or whatever. So basically those are the tie-ins for kinda of like we go through memory then. Which by the way they were more half half more than half they were really good. Which on my next video I will give you my uh, my top ten stories from the all the tie-ins from Compressions. That's gonna be my next video. And that's it guys. Well guys, this is it. I hope that you like this video. Till later. Bye.